Hi there, this is Zach with SweetCG with a new tutorial video that covers a specific new feature for our American Football Graphics Package. One of the things that we wanted to do uh, with our down and distance was make it easier for our users to show the down and distance and save, <clears throat> save an additional click uh, of the mouse or the touch screen. Uh, to display the down and distance uh, because it is uh, it, it happens so often uh, through a game that all that clicking really adds up. So what we've done is we've made uh, some new additions to our football graphics package um, related to the down and distance. Now the manual down and distance button still works. You can still click it and show um, the down and distance as well as the ball spot whenever you want. And to disable the down and dis or disable the ball spot, then you deselect that uh, ball spot checkbox when you right click the button. However, um, what we've also done uh, so to, to display the down and distance and the ball spot, what you have to do is you have to set the down and distance over here, set the ball spot here, and then click the down and distance. Um, and if that's working fine for you, then great. Um, but if uh, just having to do that extra clicking is making it not worth the, the time and effort, then we have provided a means to automate that just when the, uh, the data over here has changed. So I'm going to reselect uh, include ball spot. When we right click this button, we see this new checkbox down here that says automate on distance or ball spot update. Now what this button does, it works in conjunction with this checkbox. So that depending on uh, whether or not ball spot is included, then the down and distance will automate either on a change of distance in the down and distance or on a change of ball spot, depending on whether or not this checkbox is included. And we've also added uh, a detailed tooltip. Uh, we've extended the length that the tooltip will display so that uh, you have time to read it. Before it was just kind of disappearing very quickly and it was hard to read. So uh, now you can uh, hover over the, the button and read all of the conditions and some of the caveats that come with this. So uh, I'm going to leave both of these checked for now. So now when I come over here, I'm going to, we're at first and 10 right now, I'm going to advance to second and eight. So now we're at second and eight on the visit 37. So it hasn't updated over here yet because I haven't updated the, the ball spot. So you can either drag this slider, uh, but also in our more recent uh, update of the software with the new football interface, we made it so that you can just click right on that the hash mark and you'll jump to that. So now we're in the home 43 and as soon as I made that change, you'll notice the animation started over here. Now that's the one thing about this. When it's automated, it's gonna it's gonna animate any time the value changes, even if you do it accidentally, and there's no way to stop it. So, <clears throat> so that's one thing to keep in mind. Don't be over here just kind of clicking around um, willy nilly, uh, because what you do, what you will do, is it'll have serious ramifications over here. Um, uh, and people are going to see the down and distance uh, animate when you may not want it to. Uh, there's no way, so like when you manually select it here and that was an accident, you can click it again and it'll go away right away. You don't have that option over here uh, on the automation side. So whenever the uh, ball spot updates, uh, the animation will uh, display automatically. Now, if we disable include ball spot, you'll notice now I can change the the ball spot and it doesn't do anything. So this is in a situation where if you're still learning um, and, or you just feel overwhelmed by the, the process of doing down and distance and ball spot, you can't see, uh, you don't have a good view of the field. So maybe the ball spot just isn't uh, convenient for you to do. You know, we don't want to force you into having to do that. So um, now, uh, with this include ball spot deselected and automate on distance or ball spot update, now 
uh, just by changing the distance. So if I go to third and five, that will automate the down and distance just based on the update of the distance. So you and here with the manual controls, you can update it to fourth. It, it's not going to change. It's when you change the distance. One of the things that I, uh, let me go back to including the ball spot here. One thing to keep in mind, um, when you change the ball spot and it starts animating, if you got it wrong, you, you can still change the value on the slider because the down and distance displays for, a, I think, six or seven seconds before advancing to the ball spot. So um, don't feel like you have to get it right the first time. You have a couple seconds to do it. Um, but if you wait too long, then the change is going to be automatic. And you'll notice if it go, does go into the red zone, that's going to you're going to want to make sure you get it right the first time. Um, or at least get it into the red zone the first time so that um, the, the down and distance shows red and white. Okay, a couple other um, little caveats with this. In addition to once it, once it automates, you can't stop it. There are two other, or one other thing that you need to be aware of. Um, there are two situations where we put a moratorium on the ability for the data to be autom automatically displayed. That is uh, due to our macro features, where when you do a uh, change of uh, possession, we automatically set down and distance to first and 10. So by default, that would trigger uh, a change of distance, and that would cause the animation to display when there's a ball possession change. We don't want that uh, because you probably want to show the down and distance at a specific time right before the play starts. And when there's a ball possession change, teams, uh, the team's uh, uh, offensive and defensive teams switch, and there's a whole bunch of time that passes before they get up to the line of scrimmage. So you don't want to show first and 10 right when the ball possession changes. So we put a 12 second moratorium on that and we do that because the animation for down and distance and ball spot takes about 12 seconds to complete. Um, it's a little bit less than that. Uh, so we just we give it a, a couple extra seconds to um, so you don't accidentally uh, uh, see it display right at the tail end of the animation. So we put that 12 second moratorium on it. And then when uh, they're at the line of scrimmage and you're ready to show down the distance, then you do have to show the first and 10 manually. Or if you're quick, you could do a quick nine and then 10. And oh, but we're on, we're on including ball spots. So you could quick do that um, to trigger the animation. In, in either situation, the automation feature doesn't work as it normally would when there's a ball possession change. We also do this when we change uh, the, the quarter. Uh, so when you advance uh, from first to second, second to third, third to fourth, or into an overtime, um, because that um, can trigger uh, some value changes with how our macros work, we put that same 12 second moratorium on the ability to automate those values. So um, hopefully this uh, makes things a little easier for you. And again, if you don't like this, um, all you have to do is deselect the automate option on the down and distance, and you can continue using the down and distance manual button um, as you've been able to do before. So uh, we hope that the automation feature does make things easier for you and makes you uh, more likely to do down and distance and ball spot and 
uh, save yourself some extra clicking throughout the duration of the game. Thank you very much.